email story is actually a really embarrassing story for me um, in terms of how I almost blocked a multi-billion dollar business. <laughs> um, so it was the early days of Gmail. I was the product manager. My office mate, Paul Buchheit, was the technical lead. And you know, you, you're using about a project, product and you're building it and you're specking it. But every now and then you just kind of need to take your mind off of it and brainstorm further in the future. And so one night, Paul and I were in our office, and we always have shared offices at Google, so there are three or four of us in there, and Paul was like, how are we ever gonna make money from, from email? And I was like, you know, Paul, this is simple. Everyone's offering four megabytes of storage. We're gonna offer like a gigabyte of storage, and you know, we'll give people some amount of storage, like a gig for free, and then we'll charge them for more, more space. Simple, clean kind. He's like, you know, I, I'm not so sure. Like, I think we should maybe target ads at the email, and I was like, you know, Paul, that's gonna be just creepy. So, so we do say this to each other sometimes. I was like, people are gonna think that everyone's reading their email and putting these ads against it. Like, that's a really bad idea. And we argued and argued and argued about it. And I was like, you know, Paul, we don't even have an email program that can send and receive email for more than the six of us that are using it right now. Because <laughs> we have this little program inside. And he was like, fine. I was like, how will we just figure out like how to get this working before we, you know, really, you know, go into a lot of detail about how we're gonna make money from it. And, you know, Paul and I were both night owls, and so around three in the morning, I went to leave. And I remember walking out the door, because Paul would come in, you know, just probably, he was sort of like this typical engineer, like come in about noon. And so I left at three, Paul was still working away, and I remember walking out the door, we had this little glass panel. As I walked out, I leaned back and I said, so Paul, we agreed, we're, we're not gonna explore that ads idea right now, right? <laughs> and, uh, and Paul was like, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And so Paul stayed for another four hours until 7 a.m. when he went home building stuff. And there, as I said, there were six of us in the company using the early form of Gmail. And I came back in at like nine in the morning, logged into my email, and there were ads everywhere. <laughs> like, and so Paul had hooked up the system that grabbed keywords out of your email and put ads against them. And I was like, oh no, um, Larry and Sergey are gonna show up at like 11, they're gonna log into their email, there's gonna be ads everywhere. But I was like, no, but I could tell from Paul's emails to me at the end of the night, he'd been working until at least seven, so I was like, I don't wanna wake him up now, but I'm gonna have to call him at like 10.30 and be like, you've gotta log in and like turn this off. <laughs> and um, and so the funny thing was that I had from like 9 until 10.30 to kind of play with it. And Al Gore was coming by the office, and there was an ad for Al Gore books. And one of my friends had mailed me and said, do you want to go for a hike this weekend? And there was an ad for hiking boots. And I was like, you know, like, these ads aren't bad. <laughs> like, they're, you know, they're at least relevant, if not useful. And, um, you know, and so I, by 10.30, I decided I wasn't going to call Paul. Um, and Larry and Sergey came in, and then this interesting thing happened where, and it's sort of interesting in terms of history because people get confused, is we were building Gmail, and I do think that whether or not at targeting ads at email is still an open question, it's still an open issue of debate between Paul and I, I mean, that's how we, we do it. But what happened that night was Paul basically figured out how to target our text ads that had been running alongside of search at content, which traditionally on the web, about 5% of, page views that are done every day are searches. So if you walk into like a cyber cafe or a classroom, about one in 20 screens will have a search page up. Which basically meant we had a great database of ads that was good at making money from 5% of the web. What Paul had done was given any paragraph, given any amount of text, he could find a relevant ad from our database to run alongside it. And so it basically was a way of taking our ads database and saying we're not just gonna put these ads on Google search, we're gonna put these ads out on the web. So today when you see those blocks of textual ads that say ads by Google on the bottom, that's something called AdSense. And it was actually born that night. Uh, and it in truth is actually much more successful than even ads inside of Gmail were. Cause Larry and Sergey said, wow, like this is amazing. Let's rip this out of Gmail. Just let people run this on whatever pages that they have on the web, which meant that bloggers could suddenly quit their job and blog full time because they could make money from it. And people um, would, you know, like about .com were like, we can put even more content online because we can make money from it. And so, you know, we, we launched AdSense, which I think last year was somewhere in the, you know, the five to $7 billion revenue range. <laughs> Um, so, you know, so it's this is really amazing thing where, you know, that Gmail, that, that experiment that happened inside of Gmail became this big product outside, which I almost quelched with my, you know, hey, Paul, like, we agreed we're not doing that right now, right? <laughs> um, 
But you know, the, those types of things, it's just, you know, it's that uh, past your quote of, you know, chance favors the prepared mind of, you know, you're, you're messing around with these types of things and, and seeing potentials and opportunities and whether or not ads and email is a good idea. Thinking about how ads could target at email actually let us take ads and target it really broadly at content. Hmm.